I'm so excited. Thor Love and Thunder, the teaser trailer got released today. Check out my Patreon. Okay, so for the full month of April, it is awesome. And free. So you can go on over there, check out the shows I've been watching, check out the movies I've been watching, creep around. It's great over there. Um, I have movies, I have TV shows. I'm gonna be starting more movies, like that Batman's gonna be on there, Spider-Man, Uncharted. It's gonna be more movies added, more TV shows added, but there's some movies and TV shows on there already. Check it out. Okay, I'll take it from here. Goodbye. Start. Looks like a little door and a team door and a big door. These hands Sorry. were once used for battle. Now oh. they're but humble tools for peace. Oh yeah, because he's I not getting a bastard. Out exactly who I am. Choose my own path. Live in the moment. My superheroing days are over. You ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. The way. Not me. What? Just listening. Sucking all that back in before I start screaming. <laughs> that was Jane at the end, right? That was Jane. Oh my gosh. I'm equally excited and horrified for this to happen because I heard Jane was gonna come Lady Thor. She whore. Oops. Ha! <laughs> she she Thor. <laughs> um, she Thor. Whatever the hell she's gonna be called. I heard she was gonna become it, but I'm also nervous because I heard she be can't she becomes this because she has cancer and she's dying. So if she doesn't keep the power, if something happens, will she die? That part makes me nervous. Everything else about this, I am so excited for. We can see Valkyrie in her new position as King of Asgard, and it seems like she's acclimating more with Midgard, like our world, Earth. Um, she got that nice suit on. Looks like she's in some sort of like government meeting. You know, probably try to acclimate new Asgard into our world and how we're gonna have a whole place with. They're not like superheroes, but Asgardians are way more than humans. So it's, now there's a whole community of them living on our planet. I'm excited about that. I actually didn't even think they were gonna touch on that at all. Wicked excited for that. Um, let's get into Thor. He's looking great. He's gonna be working out, getting back into shape, trying to figure out who he is. Who is he? He's a superhero. He may not be king of Asgard, leader of his people, but he is a hero. I definitely think he's gonna realize that in this one. But then it's like, well, if Jane picks up the hammer, will he need to be hero? If she's being hero, it looks like he's putting down, what, Stormbreaker? And she's picking up Mjolnir. I don't know. Wicked excited for that. I love when he's talking to Peter and he's like, you know, you just have to look and look at the ones you love or think about the ones you love. And he's like, looking directly at him. Oh, especially since in the end of last movie when they left the planet and Peter and Thor were talking, they're like, oh, you know who's in charge. Peter's like, yeah, me. And Thor's like, of course, of course. It just seems like they. You know, their relationship is getting better. They're gonna be biffles. I'm wicked excited. I didn't see Gamora. I know we only saw some of the Guardians, but I did not see Gamora. And I know the last we saw of her, she didn't even remember Quill. And it seemed like she was gonna go off on her own, you know, kind of to find herself because it's one thing being told like, hey, I'm in love with this person. I should be with them. And it's another thing being like, no, I feel those feelings. But that's not gonna be a part of this movie, I don't think. I'm wicked excited for this. My nose is stuffy. All right, I'm gonna go. Tell me how you feel about this movie. Go join my Patreon. It's so fucking cool and so are you. All right, thank you. Bye.